we consider in class, right? So anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, um, I, I, I'm already showing you this tonight, so that's cool. Uh, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna show you something. So we're gonna do a back and forth, back and forth, okay? And, um, oops, <laughs> sorry about that. That's not what I wanted to show. Um, what I was showing was sufficient, right? Good. So I wanted to show you an example of how you could work this out. The reason, if you manage to watch through the video, you will see me say, ah, um, this is like, you know, very tough and we're throwing you to the end of the pool and, 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 and things like that. And, and why were we saying that? Because we felt, or rather I felt, um, it would be, it would be a good exercise for you, okay? So I sent the list that you were supposed to use. For example, we're just gonna do a few lines, right? Like the ones that I've marked in red, right? Where is your study? Are we driving there, okay? So what we had that we were working with is the list, or oh, like this one, right? Okay, so the first word that we have is where is your study? So you come on this list, you see there's a search function right at the top here. Or if you press Control and F, it does the same thing. It takes you to a search box. So you search for the word where, like that, is the first one. And now you have, nah, right? So you see, like we did this part last time as well. We had nah and nah with, with the ER extension. So you can pick any of these. Okay, I'm gonna pick the last one. And with that, I come down, I write it over. Um, here's what I had. Um, I'm gonna show you something else as well. Just a second, I'm gonna pull it up. It's a picture. If it's a picture, then it's on my desktop, right? Mm, just hold on, I think so. Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> I have a habit of putting pictures on my desktop. So there we go. Can you see? You, what, what can you see? The whole desktop? Yes. Okay, cool. So, so these, uh, these words are in pinyin. Let me show you where I found them. I think it's easier for you to also go get a copy. If you come here back on Google, this is where I found them. Uh, it's a website called HSK Academy. And um, it has them in the whole list of 150 words in pinyin, in traditional characters, and in simplified characters. So you pick what you like, okay? If you want to make a print out, oh, that's fine. The reason why I'm encouraging you to do that is if you find the word, like what we just did with nah, and then you come on this page, you might have you know several copies that this one will be your, your playground, just a rough one. So this is where we have nah, right? And then you cancel it out. Like you know how to use it. You can cancel this one as well, okay? Because you've already used the, those two. So we have found one of the ways that we want to, for us to, for our phrase to work, which was nah, right? We we're asking where is your uh, study, right? And then the other thing that I mentioned in that video, if you, if you, uh, some, some, unfortunately, some haven't managed to watch it, but towards the end, we were given a little bit of clues, like how do you tackle this assignment, right? For example, if you say, where is your study? And then you come here, you type study in the corner. Um, you see, this is to study, to, which is to learn, right? So you want to, you want to ask about the Bible study. So it might be difficult to work with Chelsea because you know it, it means to study as in to learn. So you will just go maybe with the student, okay? And if you're a student, which is so the same, right? So you check the we're saying from there, you now have, uh, we, we are switching between among screens. So that's why it's, uh, I mean, like kind of taking time, but you know, you have found we're saying, you look for we're saying from here, you cancel we're saying out and you come with it to your sentences, right? So you build up, you build it up like that. Me, that's we're saying, and then you just put it up together, right? Your study, your, you have we're saying, we have nah, right? And now we're looking for it, which will then include Thai. So we're saying Thai, nah. And then we have, well, now we have study is where. And then we go, nida. Why, why are we going with nida? Can someone explain? 
Okay. You can just unmute. It's, 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 it's possession. It's your study, so it will be yours. But uh... Perfect. Very good, right? So you come here, you don't know uh, your, all right? Let's see if we type your. All right, I'm sorry, I'm just going to change it to sorry. your. Here it says no results found, okay? So you now look at the closest word, which is you, and you have me. Okay? Very good. And now you're adding the possessive marker, just like uh, what you have mentioned. So we have me, that. Okay. So that's how we come up with the first sentence. Um, me, that, final. Okay. Let's part. Now, wait, that's the first part done with. Okay. So far. Uh, any questions so far on how we have constructed this part? Mm -hmm. You can ask if you have no questions, you just say no questions, no questions, no questions, then we move on. No questions for me. Okay. All right, Zimfo, Tanya, and Sakona. No questions. Okay. No questions. Awesome, good. So let's touch on the other part, okay? Um, are we driving there? Are we driving there? Yeah, this one was a little bit tricky because we have, are ah, we driving there, okay? So again, the subject will be we, and the verb will be driving. And then we have a location, right, which is there. So we come here, let's start with we, okay? We driving there, all right? So we start here, we say, ah, we, all right? That's us or men, oh, second line, okay, cool. So we already have that part. And then driving, mm. Difficult. Let's see. Drive. No results found. Driving, of course, won't come because already we noticed that it's not. Okay. So we now have to make two words. We know how to operate the way to open. What's that word? Kai. Yes, Kai. Right. And the word for car? Sure. Very good, nice. So when you combine the two, we have? What do we have in the end? Very good, that's nice, all right. So we come here, let's just confirm. We've combined to open, Kai, and the word for car, clear, right? Oh, sorry, I don't know where the other two come from, okay. <laughs> There we go. Uh, what does this mean? <laughs> Press you. How do I pronounce this? To drive, conducir. Conducir, yes. Yeah, I'm learning my Spanish, okay? You guys do the English. <laughs> okay. okay. So, conducir, there we go. Ca open car or operate a car, right? So, that now, now we have kaitke. So, we have two words, woman and kaitke. And we move on. Are we going to drive there, okay? There, we can pick there because it's an easy one. So we type there in our search box, right up there. And we have it, it's not that very far. We have na and na, okay, na, <laughs> which is a little closer to na, this one, which is where, but this one is na, okay? Um, uh -huh. That and where, right? So that's, that's a little bit of difference there. Uh, the fourth one and the, and the third one, okay? And even the character is somewhat different as well. Okay, we're gonna zoom in. All right. So that's that or there, all right. Uh, this one, this is this is where, where rather, and it's also which sometimes, okay. So just remember. Nah. Um, I think uh, the corner you used that one when, when you were showing the picture to this info, right? Uh, which of these pictures do you like? Uh, you used nah, uh, to pin, okay. So Okay, that's it, I guess. But anyway, we found what we're looking for now. Okay, so we now have three parts of the sentence. We drive there. Okay, Let, um, let's see what we have now. We have this. Basically, sorry. And we have there. And we have four men. Okay, so I dive that. Uh, if you put it in one line, 
we drive there, okay? That's what we have. We drive there. And let me not let me remove this place, okay? Because this this is what we're really close for, looking for, okay? But are we driving there, okay? The other way that we might think of using is we we drive, right? We. So you come over again to your dictionary. Uh, this is a quick reference of the words like we. And you can use this because we just want to limit ourselves from to the words of HSK1. But obviously, you could also use a dictionary like Playco, which will just you know take you to the right to the right without you know saying no results found. That was very fast. But for this exercise, I wanted us to just use these words because the reason why, as I mentioned, was to cancel them out to see, okay, I can use these words from HSK1. I know how to use them. If I don't find this word, there's another one which is closer to that. For example, can. Right? Play. All right? Play. So we can come and add play to our sentence, right? Then you uh, say, switching, switching tabs is my play. My play. Like that. There we go. My play cuts here. Now, all right? So we left it one way to make the sentence complete, to go, okay? And uh, we know this word already, but just for the sake of using the, the PDF, let's see, go. Uh, let's see, go. Okay, so we have go for dog. Let's move on. We have go on in goodbye. Yes, there we go, this one here, chew. So you see, it's more like a fast card kind of system that you'll be working around with. So we place two right here, okay? Okay, two. Now what's one thing that's left to make this a question? Is we now have, we will drive there, but we wanna say, are we going to drive there, all right? That's the question that we have. Uh, ma. Ma. Ma is correct. That's good. Okay. So ma right at the end. Are we going to drive there? Perfect. You see, we we'll build it up from the pieces that we have, picking up one word, placing it where we're supposed to be. And voila, we now have our translation. All right. So this exercise, like I mentioned, it's very time strenuous. But at the end, do you see these cues that you would have acquired? Like you can pick words from your vocabulary because these words, as you notice, they are not really fancy words. They are very popular words. Uh, and I like this uh, site, uh, the one that, that, that gave me this, uh, this big Mandarin item. What they did was they said, these are personal pronouns. These ones are demonstrative. These ones are interrogative. These ones are numeral and um, quantifiers, adverbs. They split them in that way. But they're not really fancy words. We already know them. Tai, hen, nei, bu, do, you see. So with those little words that we have, that we are set, we're trying to limit ourselves to all, to the very little uh, vocabulary, because sometimes what confuses us when we're learning in new languages is we want to quote those, some of those big words that people, we hear people use or that we read from a magazine or from, from another other literature pieces. Um, but in this, in this, for the sake of this exercise, we're trying to you know, limit ourselves to pretend as if we don't know any other words other than these 150 words. So how can we build uh, a dialogue from there? And then as usual, uh, my encouragement was, if you could come up with something like this, and then you come here, you say, okay, I've used you, I know you, I can use you, I know you, I can use you, cancel it out, cancel it out. See how many you can cancel out from there, okay? And uh, have fun with it, play around with it. And um, and that's the that's whole idea of this lecture, right? Uh, which one else did I do? Okay, this one, let's touch on this one as well. Hello, who is this? Okay, I'm gonna give you another example for that one. Mm, okay, but before I do that, let's come back, sorry. Might be going too fast. Mm, okay, here we go. Any questions on this part? No questions. No questions, good.
All right, I'm waiting for other guys to come in. I, are there any questions or are you still thinking? Oh, no questions. Okay. No questions. Oh, awesome. Good, good. So are we traveling together. All right, so now let's look at this part here. It says, let us call her. I'm just going to read that in English, right? No, let us call her. So we're not driving there. No, let us call her. All right, so you already see this boo right there. And then we'll let us. And here we had we, now we have let us, all right? With us. So let is a new word. Us is equivalent to we, but you need to figure that out, okay? So this is, this is, this is the, the, was, this was the idea. Uh, especially if you remember last week, we had some who were very, very new to the language. Uh, today we don't have them, but this was also going to help them notice. Okay, you can exchange these words, you know, these ones are the same. Um, so that, that was part of the idea anyway, <laughs> all right? And then on call, you will notice that calling is not included on the list, all right? But the reason why we will include it is sometimes we want people to get familiar with these words. For example, if you come to the part where we have D and D and D, like over here, you start noticing these patterns coming through, right? So you're just changing this part. Okay, if I change this part in front, I get a computer, I get a movie, that sort of thing. So we were trying to encourage them to find that out. Anyway, so the way that we're at at the moment is a law. And here's the beauty, if you just type a law, it takes you right to the word that we're after, right? Way, okay? So we wanna teach us on way. It's not me how, it's way. Okay, please unmute and go ahead. Way, way. Uh-huh, what, 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 what way do we use it? Or uh, what does it do? Oh. Yeah. Uh, this would be for calling? Yes, perfect, right? So that's exactly the word that we were looking for. Right? So what told us, it's a, it's a call. We saw the context of the word. They said, no, let us call her. And then we know, oh, we're not going to say ni hao. They're going to start answering the call with way. Okay. And then the, the conversation go from, go on from there. And let's see how the conversation proceeds from there. Way, who is this? Okay. Who is this? Now this is, um, a very simple sentence, especially for all of us here. Uh, but the idea was also to teach uh, on sentence construction, right? You look for who. It's on the front there where we see the interrogative part. You look for who. You find it there. Shay, right? Once you get Shay, and then you look for is, right? And on is, there was gonna be a little bit work because there is there are some words with is like is. Um, I'm sorry. The search function is dead. Okay, let's try again. Is hmm, it's supposed to highlight them often? Okay, here we go. Now we're talking. Okay, so we have we have a few that we're not really what we're looking for, but as we go down, you see here we go is she, right? To be, am or something. So we have she, she, and then who is this? This, we just type it like that. And it's right at the top, J or J, okay? So now that we have those three components in that order, we come back with them and we put them right where we'll be right in our sentences, right? Let's say, she, she. No, oh, I'm sorry, I'm typing. <laughs> All right, let me change the keyboard. She, she, she. That's what we have. And the translation is smart. It figures out what we're trying to say, which is something that I always tell people to do. Say what comes to your mind. Don't worry about the order as long as your meaning can be inferred, right? That's comforting. But if you want to correct this, how do we rearrange this? Can start with ja, ja, ja shi shi. Ja shi shi. Okay, let's go with that. Very good. Okay, so why do we do? Why did we do that? Why did we do that? All right. I'm uh, the one who gave the comment. Will we please uh, pause for now. We just want to hear somebody's thoughts in your input. All right. 
Uh, why did she suggest that we say we write it this way? And by the way, that's the break here. So I'm going to take this one out. Be because uh, jer means uh, this, this, this is who. Mm -hmm. So um, why, why is it that way? I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice thanks for your input right um yeah but you're right on the translation then j means this and this is who that's the that's the literal translation that's the literal translation that's true so we had a correct one last time but now this one is a little spun around but it's now the correct one in chinese so let's hear another uh question input on that as well why is the order like that Okay, mm, so I'm gonna come back to the one who gave the initial comment. Please go ahead and explain why you told us to go and rob a bank if you knew we we're gonna be. Okay, so I don't know if it's the right answer, but the, <clears throat> I, I thought of was the subject, the subject of that verb. So I don't know, I think the subject is j, but yeah. anyway, in most things that I read, I just cram that order that it's always just a shade, it's like, it's like a phrase. So the real answer is that I know it as a phrase, but then I, I suppose it will be subject, all oh, subject, verb, object. Okay, then. Okay, awesome. Very good. All right. So that's true, right? That's very true. Uh, this, that's the question we are, we are asking about. So that will make it the subject, right? And uh, just a shade. And then who? will be uh, represent the object in this instance. So that's true. We start with the person or whatever we'll be talking about first as our subject, right? And if we have any major words, sorry, if we have any uh, verbs, okay? In this instance, we, we're going with to be is, um, and then say is our object, right? So that's the correct sense in order. So you can pick up the words from uh, the first part, and then put them up in that order, okay? So, yep, I guess um, we have a, a bit of an idea about how we could tackle the, the dialogue. So as you can see, it was gonna be a little bit of work, especially for for the, for, for the new, new, new beginners, but for, for us, it wasn't really gonna be that, that really tough. But yeah, again, uh, the idea is to be able to construct with what we know, the little ways that we have. If you remember last time when we said, when we started, we said, be familiar with the words in HSK1, this list. As soon as you get be familiar with these words, and then we're trying to see how we could use our vocabulary to come up with dialogues like we want to say this. So all of this that's here, we could try and coin it with our vocabulary, right? Um, and then the other stuff we cover it separately from the video. And then now when we do that behind the scenes, when we come in class, uh, if you have any challenges with that, we can just go through, okay, let's say, how do we say this? How do we say this? How do we say this? Uh, how did you write it? How did it come up for you? Okay. And you will notice that I came up with it like this, but if you have wrote yourself, you probably would have come up with another con construction of the same sentence, which is also very correct. Okay. And, and uh, there's no one right answer when constructing sentences, but that's the skill we need, especially for now, because of course, to be able to listen, you should be able to say, right? And then, ah, okay, he just said this. I know the word he just said. And then we can now, you know, just improve our listening abilities. But already who would have figured out, okay, these are the words they're saying. I could have used the wrong tone, but I can now mimic how they're saying it because I already know what they're saying, okay? So for now, our focus would be turning our vocabulary into meaningful sentences or being able to express ourselves in the language, okay? All right, so uh, pretty much that's what this lesson was about. Um, I, as you notice, we can't really go through all the stuff here in class. Now we will reach, you know, we we'll take like <laughs> 24 hours to go through one by one, one by one. But I just decided I would share some examples of how we could, um, we could have done it. But it would have made much sense if we had those new, new, new students uh, uh, along with us today. Um, I don't know. Mm. 
maybe we can talk about improving how we could how we present in them um maybe you, if you guys have some feedback on how we could try and make it maybe a little less traumatizing because maybe sometimes people are <laughs> get traumatized like Ooh, it's, it's too much information and stuff but yeah if you guys have any suggestions about how we, how we can make it a little more friendly for them then you can suggest but in terms of you guys like the ones that i have in this time <laughs> this was supposed to be a piece of cake so i'm not really worried about you i just know maybe it could be having time uh, management but when you have time please go to and uh, please do the um, the dialogues they are very useful they were useful for me too and um yep i guess that's it we will talk some more um in on whatsapp right thank you shishini ah beyond beyond Oh, okay. I'm seeing your message. <laughs> We're seeing for you noting. <laughs> we, <laughs> we have seen. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, so now you have to go and uh, bring what do you call it a sound, so a sound drum, and uh, and the chicken for the <laughs> a sound drum, a sound drum for the for the part for the for the priest, and the chicken for the. <laughs> for the teacher mm. that's your atonement oh okay <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 right. yeah so yeah behind the scenes let's talk about uh, how we can improve this because i think uh, i'm gonna set out uh, by the way zakona is gonna need some he's gonna have some sp uh, spoken speaking classes uh, apart from a regular um classes so i think i will be inviting you guys to come and have dialogues with her so that uh, she, I, I will also be having dialogues with her but i think it would also be good to to improve your chinese with speaking to her if you notice she she has some familiarity with some of the phrases like most of these phrases these basic phrases so it would be good to like you know throw her with with several people in in those dialogues so once you agree on time, just be ready. It could be evening, could be morning. Um, then you should come through and, and have dialogues with you, okay? It's very important. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, all right, cool. Lovely. So, um, yeah, let's talk about um, uh, uh, what else can we improve, for, especially for this crash course, because we have two weeks to go. And that was my fear, like, you know, some, sometimes you set up a class like this and then it, it has a lot of things for people to sort of get through, but mm, I'm worried because 